Hi, I'm Ray. Welcome to Gardening Online. Today we're going to talk about compost. So many people have got new allotments and they're pretty overgrown. So what do we do with all the weeds? Well I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. So one good start is to clear some of the plot, clear the weeds and let them dry and then we can put them into a compost bin. But compost bin comes in different shapes and sizes and you can get some for free, a marketplace and it's also cheap to build. All we need are a few pallets. I'll show you my pallet bin that we made this week. So when you're starting a new allotment, it's great to try and save a few pounds, not spend out a lot of money. And one thing we can do is get some pallets. These are cheap and easy. Ask at industrial estates, any businesses, see if they want to get rid of any. All we need is three or four pallets and we can make a compost bin. I'll show you mine down the end which is a bit more complex, but a bit of string, a couple of screws, three pallets and we can start our compost bin. A simple compost bin could just be made with three pallets. One, two, three. a string, screw, compost bin, ready in seconds, and free. So compost bins can normally be placed a secluded area or even in a slightly shady area and place them on top of the soil to allow better soil organisms and bacteria to help improve decompose the contents. So this is our compost bin that we've got and it's a slightly posher version of the one we knocked up earlier. And this is a five bin compost bin. Still made of pallets, screwed in the back. All we've done is place some cardboard on the bottom of the pallet bin to suppress the weeds. And we've just put the compost, the weeds on top to combine the compost. So compost needs 40% greens which combines of grass cuttings, annual weeds and vegetable offcuts, some tomatoes and 60% browns which can be Wood, prunings, dried leaves, shredded cardboard, or even straw from bedding, such as rabbits or guinea pigs. That can be ideally mixed in. So the plan with the five bed, once one gets full, gets turned into the next one, giving air and oxygen, and we fill up the next one, and then we continue rotating right to the fifth bin at the end. And by the time it's at the bin, it's been rotated four times. There should be good compost at the end. We are intending to put a door on the front of these that we can slide in and out. But that's solid, not going anywhere. And best of all, it's free.
I'm just breaking up these cardboard, just making sure I remove all the tape. If you don't want the tape on the compost, and I'm just throwing these up into little pieces, and this can get mixed in for the browns in the compost. So we're turning the heaps and we're adding our brown on top, mixing it in. And then we can transfer the first pile onto the second pile as we go, mixing it up. As we go, then we start filling up the first one. When that's full, everything can just be transferred from this one back into that one. As we can see, this is already breaking down. This is all the beans from the bean teepees. Then with some grass cuttings and the leaves. So we will put, put the door on the front. There we go. Some old apples. Cucumbers, all can go on top. So good garden compost can take up to six months to two years to break down and when it's a woody woodland smell it's good to use on the garden there's also products on the market available for compost making and this speeds up the natural compost process and it's a garden waste kitchen waste the rich crumbly waste, ideal for both heap or compost bins. And this is a fast acting formula, takes six to eight weeks. That can just be added to the compost. This has been in my shed for many years. Check the whole lot on it. <laughs> So, have you done any composting? Let me know. And this quick and easy way gets you going straight away. Good place to put all the weeds when you're starting your new allotment, all in one place. Hide it out of the way, it's at the back of my allotment, nobody sees it, does a good job. Sorted. Let me know in the comments, have you done any composting? Just a few simple methods, get you composting and get you your compost for next year all sorted. So, thank you very much. Cheers for now.